Morning guys, welcome to another review from The Moon of Berserker! Me, Matt. Hope you're having a fantastic... Nearly knocked your coffee flying. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there. Whatever you're getting up to, whatever you're doing, and I have another review from you. For you even. God, the weather is damn awful again. Still raining at this point next week. I'm going to have to start building an arc if it carries on. And I hope you're all doing well. Now before we start, two things. Number one. Um, at the end of the month, I'm doing a live unboxing and review, um, so stay tuned for that one. And at the same time, I'm going to do, be doing a massive, massive giveaway. So in order to be in with a chance of winning uh, the giveaway, you're going to need to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And like I say, I'm going to be putting posts on my Instagram, Viking Beer Matt, about that. So stay tuned. It's going to be at the end of June. And also, massive thank you. I've done a review of this a while ago um, from Norderland for the T-shirt. Uh, what I didn't include in the last review is that I have a code, a discount code. If you use the code Viking Beard Matt, Viking Beard Matt, all one word, you get 10% off. Fantastic, authentic uh, Viking Norse um, streetwear. So, 10% off using the code Viking Beard Matt, all one word. So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I have another review for you this morning from Lakeland Beard Care. So, thank you very much for Lakeland Beard Care for sending this through. Now, with all the small brand reviews that I do, I'm completely honest, okay? Everything I do is my own honest opinion. I'm not affiliated to any of these brands whatsoever. I'm completely unbiased. And the only reviews that I do and help and support and advertise and stuff that I do is for small brands only. Small brands, small businesses, small companies, individuals out there and craftsmen making some amazing, amazing products and not these huge, massive brands. Not interested in them, it's just the small brands. So I have done a review uh, last year for Lakeland Beard Care. So we're gonna be having a look at the new two products that they've released and just quickly go over the other ones that I did review. So I'm going to be putting my rating spectacles on so I can see, otherwise I can't see, bugger all. Now these guys come from Cumbria in the UK and the one that the ones that I reviewed before for Lakeland Beard Care was the Clean Slate. The video is still online for this so you can have a look. Clean Slate was basically an unscented for those of you that would like an unscented beard oil that doesn't mess with your cologne or aftershave that you wear so that was that one. Also the Morning Dew which was Scots Pine, Cedarwood and Clary Sage which was personally one of my favourites. I love that one. And also another one, which is called Salmonite, which is patchouli, grapefruit and cardamom. Very, very nice summery scent. And all of these came with matching balms as well. So those were the original three products that they released. Now, they have bought up, or he's bought out, sorry, Richard's bought out, um, two new ones called Winter Warrior and Afternoon Delight, which sounds magnificent. Uh, there's also put a card in there. I will be putting links down below in the description box for Lakeland Beard Care. So be sure to give them a look up and a follow and check out the products. They do loads of different deals and stuff like that. And bundles, uh, beard comb, beard oil and beard balm and stuff like that. All of the balms, all of the oils and everything else. Too many to mention, but definitely give them a look up. But I will be putting links down below. As you can see, these were established in 2018 in Cumbria. And they're all natural products, which I should hope so, because we don't want any chemicals in our beard products and skin products and hair products. So those are those three. So we're going to be looking at the labelling. We're going to be looking at the ingredients on them, the scent profiles. Do they smell like they're supposed to smell? If not, why don't they smell like them? So, and we're going to be looking at the price and then afterwards scoring it out. A 20. 20 being magnificent, 10 being... Yeah, it's all right. And zero bin, I'm not going to touch this with a shitty stick. So that's how I score it. So first of all, as you will notice, the new products, which I like to see, the cohesiveness between them two are exactly the same labelling as 
the original products that they bought out, which is nice. There is no change there, which is nice to see. It's a bit weird. Unless brands kind of bring out um, a new range or sort of like sweet shop range and they don't like woody range, then that's fine. Um, but it's nice to see the cohesiveness between them all. Now, first of all, we're going to be looking at the Winter Warrior and then the Afternoon Delight. So this one is Tea Tree, Peppermint and Eucalyptus. Comes in these amber glass bottles, which, as you probably know, it stops those UV rays. That was a UV ray. Getting inside the bottle, damaging and degrading and breaking down the oils inside there. So that's why you tend to find them in amber bottles, green bottles, blue bottles, opaque bottles. This one, as you can see, all of the products, uh, beard oils, actually have a pipette on the top, which is great. My preferred method of administering beard oil to my hand before I put it on my beard and I like to measure out six drops maybe seven drops um, eight drops that's daily um, eight drops if I've just washed my beard to kind of like put the oils back into my skin and everything else like that maybe use a couple of drops before I go to bed in the evening just to kind of like see me through until the morning so very very nice now like I say this is tea tree peppermint and eucalyptus I have used and tried all of these products. It is not just an unboxing because I'm not overly keen on unboxing videos. Just because it looks nice, just because it smells nice, doesn't mean your skin's going to fall off. Not going to fall off. Now, with all products sold in the UK and EU, beard products, skin products, hair products, and stuff like that, beauty products, you have to have a CPSR certificate, which is Cosmetic Product Safety Report. And so it's been tested. There's no harmful stuff in there. Because the last thing you want to do, put it all over your beard and face, and you turn into a zombie or a werewolf or have some really nasty, adverse um, problems with it. So... With all beard products and everything that you use, always do a little test patch first, at least 24 hours beforehand, so you can get a good idea that if you're going to have an allergic reaction or not. I have not had an allergic reaction with all of these. So we're going to be having a look at the scent. Now, like I say, peppermint tea tree and eucalyptus. It's definitely got a peppermint scent to it. Now, I know I don't particularly like peppermint. It's not one of my favourite scents in any way, shape or form. I even hate toothpaste because it tastes of mint. Um, but I'm reviewing this objectively. And if it doesn't smell of peppermint, then why didn't it? Because it should do. Cool, yeah. Definitely picking up the peppermint and the eucalyptus. And it's kind of like a... A sweetness of the tea tree coming through. The tea tree is kind of like just behind, and you've got the uh, tea tr uh, eucalyptus and the peppermint sitting on top. Um, this is quite a potent scent. It's on my scale chart down here, very, very subtle. In here, in the middle, is kind of your normal, and up here is knock your head off and kick it into next week. This one's sitting at around about three quarters of the way up, but it does die back a bit that initial heady sort of scent of the peppermint and eucalyptus hits you when you put it on uh, up here and then it drops back a bit and then the tea tree kind of comes forward a bit over the top of the peppermint and eucalyptus and it's a very nice winter one i have to admit it's a great scent for winter it's one of those really freshy zingy sort of kind of wake you up scents and I really like it. It lasts, on average, I'm finding at around about two and a half to three hours, which is good for a beard oil. Nice punchy scent. It's not overly greasy. Um, it's absorbing into my skin and beard uh, hair very, very quickly. And it is really, really nice. And it's nice to see that they have the same consistent um, two new products. We'll go into the other one in a minute. As the other ones, there'd be nothing worse than having sort of like three really good ones they bring out two new and they are completely different not as good as for whatever reason but so far got a hair stuck in my face so far this one is just as good as the other ones and even though i don't like peppermint that is actually quite pleasant i like that sudden rush especially when you sort of like have a wash and everything first thing in the morning select this on your beard it's going to wake you up and it's a really nice, well-blended scent. And I do like the way that they've managed it, that the tea tree does start working through the eucalyptus and the 
peppermint. Really, really nice. I've already done my beard this morning, so I put this on the tattoos because obviously it's good for the skin as well. Make sure that's gone. Now, ingredients wise in the oil, uh, sweet almond oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and your essential oil. So there's nothing out of the ordinary in there, which is great to see. Also on the bottle, you've got the ingredients as well. Um, basically what I've just read out. And the, the batch as well, you can see that on there, there's a batch number. External use only, avoid contact with your eyes or broken skin if irritation occurs, discontinue use. Um, dispense a few drops and palm between hands. Distribute the beard, Lakeland Beard Care, Cumbria. Brilliant. So that is that one. And even though I don't like peppermint, I rate that one very, very highly. Moving on, moving on, uh, we have the afternoon delight, which is bergamot, black pepper, and frankincense. Every time I see frankincense, I just want to say Frankenstein for some reason. Right. Let's make sure my hands doesn't smell of the last one. I know exactly what these smell like because I have used them, I've tried them, I've tested them beforehand. A few drops again, you kind of got your slightly yellowish liquid in there. It's not a thin, horrible liquid. It's got a decent consistency to it. So bergamot, black pepper and frankincense. Now that's funny because I know it's, it's not that funny, but I can actually detect the black pepper in this. A lot of um, kind of brands have used this black pepper and everything, and you hardly smell it. The first thing I smell, there is a hint to the black pepper. You can smell that sort of like almost spiciness of the black pepper to it, which is really, really nice. And this one is a lot more relaxed and subtle. It's it's kind of like your midway sort of scent. It's not as punchy as the um, Winter Warrior, but it's a very nice, relaxed, almost sitting in a field having a picnic or on the beach or something sort of a scent. And all three of these are the frankincense, the bergamot and the black pepper. They're all on that same level. There's not one higher than the other. Although when you I first smelt it, I got that sudden nasal hit of the black pepper. And it's really, really well blended as well. Now this one is lasting for around about two and a half hours, which is great. That one was around about sort of three hour mark. Do work in a hot, sweaty, sticky environment. And the same with this one, exactly the same ingredients, which is your sweet almond oil, argan oil, argan oil, huber oil, and your essential oils. Really well blended, but a lot more subtle. As you can imagine with the bergamot, black pepper, and frankincense, the eucalyptus, and the peppermint is gonna be a lot punchier, which is fine, I expected that anyway. Really, really nice. Again, it's great on the beard and the skin. Um, not too greasy, and it's really, really good. And I like it. I like it a lot. And once I've actually done this review, I've just got the balms to do. I'm going to tell you to uh, tell you guys out there my top two ones that or three that I actually really really love. And moving on, glasses back on again. We have exactly the same. They were thirty ml bottles, by the way. Exactly the same, but they're balms. And it's always interesting with balms and oils. I do like to see whether um, the scent is the same because I know the butters and everything in there actually kind of like when they emulsify they sort of like dull the scent down a bit but I always like seeing has it got the same scent to it because it should have yeah except with the um, what is it? Sorry, Afternoon Delight. I forgot the Delight part. In the Afternoon Delight one, I'm not detecting so much of the black pepper. It's almost like the black pepper's taken a back seat on it, and I can smell the bergamot and, and frankincense a lot more. It's really, really good. It emulsifies quickly in the hands with a couple of rubs. And ingredients in this is beeswax, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and your essential oils. Just the right amount of... Um, 
beeswax in there, not too much, not too little, because if it's too little, it ends up being like a beard butter, and too much, it ends up being like a beard wax, which you can buy a separate wax. It has a small, you tend to find with balms, they have a small amount of beeswax in there, which helps with a little bit of styling, keeping those unruly hairs out of place, but not too much, it's not necessarily a beard wax. You can buy special waxes for that, and if you don't want any beeswax on it, go for a beard, um, go for a beard butter. But it's very, very nice, nice scent profile on it, exactly the same except, like I said, the back seat on this, black pepper takes a bit of a back seat on this one, but definitely smelled the frankincense and the bergamot, so really well made. And again, you can see from the tin, comes a little screwed tin, 30 mil, it's got the batch number on it, on the back, the ingredients as well, really, really nice, really, really good. And moving on. We have the, funny enough, the Winter Warrior, which is the beard balm version to that. And again, tea tree, peppermint, eucalyptus, batch D1. So it's nice because these are all handmade in small batches. And again, on the back ingredients, 30 mil tin. And I'm assuming, I, know, I don't need to assume because I have used it, um, that this one's gonna be exactly the same scent as the Winter Warrior. So running a bit through my hands. Yeah, as I was expecting, a bit more punchier than the afternoon delight because of the eucalyptus and the peppermint in it. Very, very nice. Um, exactly the same ingredients, beeswax, cocoa, but uh, sweet almond oil, argan oil, jojoba <laughs> oil and essential oils. Really well blended, bit more punchier than the afternoon delight, but it depends on what you want to go for. Some people want subtle, some want knock your head off stuff but they're both very good and very different in their own way. Yeah, really, really nice. Detect all of those in there, the peppermint, eucalyptus, and the tea tree oil. So great, a fantastic product. And it's nice to see they're exactly the same consistency um, as the, not consistency, continuity, really great continuity between all of their products. There's not one that lets the products down. They're all absolutely phenomenal in the five cent range that they do. So price wise, at the moment, with the beard oil, there's a bit of a sale going on. So these should be for 30 mils, 11.99, but at the moment there's a bit of a discount going on and they're £9.59. And with the 30 mil tins of beard balm, these should be 9.99, but at the moment there's a couple of pound off and £7.99. I'm not sure how long this is going to last, um, so I would definitely get in there before the sale ends. And I really, really rate uh, Lakeland's beard products. Like I say, it's been almost a year now since I've done the original review, and it's nice to see their products are just as good as the originals that they bought out. They're not better than, they're not worse than, exactly the same, which is great. So price-wise, fantastic, and scoring them out of 20, because they've left it such a long time to bring out, which I can understand why and everything else like that, um, because it's such a long time between their original three and these new two coming out, because they're exactly the same quality, I'm scoring them straight up 20 out of 20. Even though I'm not particularly keen on peppermint, it's still a fantastic scent. It smells exactly like it says on the tin. <laughs> And I do like the Afternoon Delight as well. Nice, summery, picnic-y, on the beachy sort of scent. Very, 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 very nice. So putting them in order of my favourites. Top one has got to be the Morning Dew, which was the Scots Pine, Cedarwood and Clary Sage, because I love my woody scents. Second of all is going to be my, those two in joint second place. Third place, is going to be um, the Winter Warrior, although it's a lot, lot nicer than I thought it was going to be with the peppermint in it, and I hate peppermint. I hate mint in general, unless it's mint you put on potatoes. And there is nothing wrong with the clean slate, but it is unscented, so if you're wearing an expensive, nice cologne, it's not going to, the scent's not going to interfere with that. But again, it's a damn good product. So all of their products are really good, and I kind of... I'd be more than happy to go out and pay for any of these, and they are fantastic products. Thank you so much to Rich for, or Richard, from, I've forgotten the name of him, sorry, 
old age, uh, from Lakeland Beard Care for sending these through. I really, really do appreciate it. Fantastic work. Keep it going. Keep it up. And look forward to seeing what you come up with next because it's always interesting to watch how these brands sort of develop their products and everything like that. I will be putting links down below. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Any comments, please feel free to comment down below. Um, like I say, subscribe to be in with a chance of winning the giveaway at the end of June. Feel free to give us a follow over there on Instagram as Viking Beardman. And have a great day. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on supporting each other. Keep on looking after each other. And keep on loving each other. Keep on growing those beards. If you're growing a beard, if you're a woman and you're not growing a beard, that's understandable. But have a great afternoon or great day, whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting up to. And I look forward to seeing you in the next review from the Beard Observer. Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.